Flats at an integrated development, Entanglin Halt and Two Projects, in Bidok, are among nearly 4,100 units across seven built to order BTO developments that will go on sale in February 2024. Flats beside the Pango Reservoir in Samang and a 1,120 unit project in Woodlands will also be on offer. The Housing Board, on December 5th, released details on its website of seven projects that will be launched in the first BTO sale exercise of 2024. It will offer flats in Bidok, Queenstown, Choa Chu Kong, Ho Gang, Pangal and Woodlands. Some 250 two-room flexi and four-room flats will be launched on the site of the integrated development in Tanglin Halt. One of Singapore's oldest housing estates within Queenstown. HDB unveiled plans for the integrated development, a key feature of the rejuvenated estate, in October. The site, bounded by Tanglin Halt Road and Commonwealth Drive, is a five-minute walk from Commonwealth MRT Station. It is unclear if more units will be offered at the site in future launches. It will be the second BTO project in Tanglin Halt, where up to 5,500 flats will be built as part of redevelopment plans over the next 10 to 15 years. The integrated development, which will come up on the site of the former Tanglin Halt neighborhood center, will have HDB flats, shops, and a hawker center and market. Queenstown Polyclinic in Sterling Road will also be relocated to the complex. Property analysts said the project will most likely be launched under the prime location public housing model. Following in the footsteps of the Tanglin Halt Cascadia BTO project launched in October. Flats that fall under this model come with extra subsidies and stricter resale conditions such as a 10-year minimum occupation period and a subsidy clawback typically set at 6%. Mr. Nicholas Mack, Chief Research Officer of Property Search Portal Mogul.sg, said the development should be popular among buyers, owing to its proximity to amenities and being 300m away from the MRT station. Meanwhile, the projects in Bidot will have a total of 950 two-room flexi, four- and five-room flats across the two plots. One project is bounded by Bidok North Street Tree and the Penn Island Expressway and is near Bidok Reservoir, MRT Station. It will be adjacent to Yuning Primary School. The other is next to Bidok Green Primary School in New Upper Changi Road and is two bus stops from the Bidok Integrated Transport Hub. In Pangal, HDB is set to launch a 960-unit project in Samong Lane, on a site beside Pango Reservoir. The development will have two-room flexi, three-dash, four- and five-room flats. Mr. Lee Z. Tech, Senior Director of Data Analytics at real estate agency Huttons Asia, noted that the last BTO project in Pango was launched in 2019. This means there could be some pent-up demand. Even so, he added, the project is not near any MRT or LRT station, which could be a downside for applicants. A 1,120-unit project in Woodlands, comprising two-room flexi, three-dash, four- and five-room flats, will be the largest in this exercise. It will be built in Woodgrove Avenue and Rosewood Drive. In Choa Chu Kong, 462-room flexi, Three and four room flats will be offered beside the Pang SUA Canal. The rail corridor, a popular hiking trail, is next to the development. This will be the third and final project in the new housing estate built on the site of Pang SUA Woodland. Green spaces were not part of the Urban Redevelopment Authority's 2019 master plan for the site. But in July 2022, HDB adjusted plans to retain two hectares of greenery after an environmental study and public feedback. The first two projects in the estate, Rail Green the first and two at CCK, were launched for sale in October.
The larger flats in the railway team development were the most popular in that sales exercise. With about 1.7 first-time applicants vying for each of the 544 five-room and three-generation flats. Mr. Lee said the latest Choa Chu Kong project is near amenities such as Junction 10 Shopping Centre and Hilion Mall. Still, he noted that the absence of five-room flats, unlike in the earlier projects, could result in the development being less attractive to buyers. Mr. Max said, if fewer five-room flats are being built, there will be proportionally fewer larger flats in the BTO and HDB resale market. This could cause prices of larger flats to rise further, placing them out of reach for many Singaporeans. Lastly, about 350 two-room flexi, three- and four-room flats will be launched in Hogang Street 13. The nearest MRT station is Bartley, about 8.50 m away.